Whenever I am doing training in corporates, I often get this question. What is the difference between Spring and Spring Boot? Is it mandatory that I need to use Spring Boot for developing Spring applications? Come on, let us deep dive into this. Before seeing what is the difference between Spring and Spring Boot, let us understand what is Spring, what is Spring Boot, what is the difference between Spring and Spring Boot, is it mandatory that we need to use Spring Boot for developing web applications and microservices? Let us get started. What is Spring? Spring is an open source framework which is built on top of Java. Using Spring, you can develop loosely coupled applications. What are loosely coupled applications? Whenever you are developing applications, there will be dependencies between the classes. If the dependencies between the classes are very less, then they are loosely coupled. For developing these kind of loosely coupled applications, we can use Spring Framework. Spring uses certain mechanism to reduce the dependency between these classes. Spring uses POJOs, plain old Java objects to develop applications. What are the use cases of working with Spring Framework? Spring helps to develop enterprise applications. That is, using Spring Framework, you can develop standalone applications, web applications, REST API and microservices. Spring supports to build scalable microservices. Spring supports to secure your server-side application by authenticating and authorizing it. Spring also supports to develop asynchronous applications. It helps in automating the task by creating batches. These are few use cases of Spring Framework. While working with Spring Framework, we will be using certain modules based on our requirement. Now let us discuss about the modules of Spring Framework. These are the modules of Spring Framework. Based on your requirement, you can pick and choose the modules that you want. Suppose say you want to develop only standalone applications without any external dependencies. It is enough that you can work with the core container which has the modules as core, beans, context and expression language. If you want to integrate your Spring application with the database, then you need to use data access and integration module, which has the modules as Spring JDBC, Spring ORM, object relational mapping, Spring OXM, object XML mapping, JMS, Java messaging services and transaction, web. If you want to develop web applications and REST API, then you need to use the web module, which has Spring Web, Servlet, Portlet, Struts. Then is AOP, Aspect Oriented Programming, to take care of the backend operations. Together with that, the other supporting modules are Aspects, Instrumentation and Test. Obviously, Test is for testing your Spring applications. So, these are the modules of Spring Framework. Next, let us move on to the advantages of Spring. These are few advantages of working with Spring Framework. You don't have to use an application server for developing web applications or enterprise application. It is enough that you can work with a simple Tomcat server. Spring has lightweight IOC containers which helps to develop loosely coupled applications. You can work with Spring Framework even if your system is having limited memory resources because Spring Framework is lightweight. As I told you, you can pick and choose the modules based on what you want to develop. If you just want to integrate your Spring applications with the database, it is enough that you can work with the core module and the data access module. If you want to develop web applications, it is enough that you can select the web module. So Spring is lightweight. That is why it is very easy to deploy applications and systems which is having limited memory. Spring can integrate with any other framework, as in with logging frameworks, quads, timers, ORM frameworks like Hibernate, with MyBatis, with Struts and so on. Spring translates the technology specific exceptions into runtime exceptions. If you are a Java developer, you know that you would have worked with exceptions in Java applications, wherein you will be using your custom exceptions as checked exceptions. But in case of Spring, it supports only unchecked exceptions. All the checked exceptions that are coming from the backend database, it is converted into consistent unchecked exceptions in case of Spring Framework. This means whatever exceptions are coming, they will be thrown to the console. Provides a consistent transaction management. 
whenever you are integrating a spring application with the database the transaction has to be taken care of spring framework is responsible for providing consistent transaction management testing your spring application is very easy because spring framework works with pojo based classes okay this is about spring we have learned what is spring what are the use cases of working with spring framework what are the modules in spring framework what are the advantages of using spring framework now let us move on to spring boot what is spring boot spring boot is built on top of spring spring boot helps to develop production grade spring applications which are ready to run spring boot helps to bootstrap your spring applications with the necessary jars it means you can add all the third party libraries without any fuss this is the first place where spring differs from spring boot we will discuss about the differences later now let us see what are the use cases that i can do with the help of spring boot with the help of spring boot you can develop stand alone applications with no or little configuration you can develop web applications rest apis build scalable microservices secure your server side application these are the use cases of working with spring boot now let us see what are the advantages of using spring boot these are few advantages of spring boot if you are using spring boot for developing your spring application it reduces the development time effort and increases productivity why because while working with spring boot it provides you with a starter project which is called a spring initializer whenever you want to add dependencies it is not necessary that you need to go to the browser you can pick and choose the dependencies that you want automatically spring boot is responsible for creating your spring application with all the necessary jars this means even before you are starting your application your spring application is ready with all the basic necessary jars with all the necessary jars that you have selected spring boot has got embedded servers it has got embedded tomcat and jetty server so if you want to develop a rest api you can develop it very easily spring boot enables auto configuration what exactly is the meaning of it if you are integrating your spring application with the database you will be adding the dependency specific to the database in that scenario spring boot understands that you need a in memory database and it provides the configuration for h2 number 1 if you are integrating your spring application with the database you will be adding the specific module in pom.xml spring boot understands that you need a database and it provides you with the in memory database h2 If you are authenticating your application by adding Spring Security module in pom.xml, Spring Boot understands that you need the basic security. It provides a form with the username and the auto-generated password. If you are developing a web application, obviously you will add Spring Web module in pom.xml. Spring Boot understands that you are going to develop a REST API or a web application. That is an MVC application. Spring automatically adds the embedded Tomcat server for your application. If you are working with reactive web, it automatically adds Jetty server to your application. Also, if you are trying to integrate your application with the database, you have added Data JPI module means Spring automatically enables the JPI repositories that are needed for your application. So this is called as enabling auto configuration. So auto configuration means in case of data jpi enabling the jpi repositories in case of database automatically adding h2 database in case of web automatically embedding tomcat server in case of reactive web embedding netty server in case of security generating a form providing the password for your application okay the next one is spring boot starter dependencies as i told you if you want to develop a web application using spring boot it is enough that you can work with a spring starter project which is called a spring initializer it opens a window from which you can pick and choose the dependencies so adding dependencies is not a difficult process while working with spring boot if the dependencies are having interdependencies they will be added automatically 
as in if a depends on b b depends on c i have added only a in my pom dot example means spring boot will automatically add the interdependencies okay application metrics and health check spring boot helps to provide the health check of your application what are the rest apis available how many apis are working up and down and all the other logging informations added externalized configuration if i do not want to maintain the configuration details in my rest api i can have it in a separate repository like github i can retrieve it using externalized configuration usually when you are working with microservices all the configuration details should be added to the repository there is a config server which is responsible for pulling the information from the repository and give it to the application spring boot supports this okay these are few advantages of spring framework now let us see what is the difference between spring and spring boot boot starter dependencies as i told you if you want to develop a web application using spring boot it is enough that you can work with spring starter project which is also called a spring initializer if you open your spring initializer you can pick and choose the dependencies that you want these dependencies are available as spring boot starter dependencies let me show you few dependencies from spring tool suit so these are few spring boot starter dependencies spring boot starter data jpa spring boot starter data couchbase spring boot starter data rest internally if you notice they will be having the spring modules that we have discussed similar to this you are also having spring boot technical starters spring boot starter jt starter log4j logging and tomcat okay now let me show this directly from my spring tool suit this is my pom dot xml where i have added spring boot starter data jpa together with that spring boot starter test let me open the dependency hierarchy this is my spring boot starter data jpa and it depends on spring boot starter aop spring boot starter jdbc spring data jpa spring boot starter i hope it is clear but if you notice one more thing further down this aop depends on spring aop this spring aop depends on beans and core this means spring boot internally depends on the modules of spring framework the version of spring boot is 3.2.2 the version of spring is 6.1 that is the difference so the advantage of working with spring boot is it will create a spring application with all the dependencies added immediately if i have to create a web application i can directly go here file new spring starter project which is nothing but your spring initializer automatically it will give me the details that has to be filled in when i click next it allows me to pick and choose the dependencies that i want these dependencies are called as spring boot starters internally these spring boot starters uses the modules of spring framework the moment i click finish automatically all the dependencies of spring boot and spring framework will be pulled from the internet that is how it works next application metrics and health checks if you want to check the health of your application that is also supported by spring boot what are all the rest apis that you are having what is the logging information what is the different urls everything can be retrieved with the help of application metrics and health checks advanced externalized configuration rather than adding the configuration details in the spring boot application you can add it in your repository pull the data from the repository using an external config server when you are working with microservices you will be using an external cloud config server which is responsible for having the details about the configuration the configurations will not be available the configuration will be in the repository that particular config server will have only the url of the repository so the configurations are not directly added to your spring applications you are pulling it from somewhere these are the advantages of spring boot now i hope you can understand what is the difference between spring and spring boot both spring and spring boot help to develop stand alone applications web applications rest api scalable microservices both of them help to authenticate our application if i have to develop a web application using spring in that case i need to use a project management tool like maven so as a developer it is my responsibility that i need to pick and choose the dependencies from the browser and add it to pom.xml
but if i am going to spring boot the work is completely reduced because it gives me a ui wherein i can pick and choose the dependencies tada my application is ready the application is ready to run that is the first difference if you are using maven for developing spring rest apis it is your duty that you need to add the tomcat server if you are using spring to develop web application of course you need to add the tomcat server all by yourself but if you are working with spring boot the moment you add spring web as dependency automatically it lad the embedded tomcat server similarly if you are working with the database adding all the relevant dependencies is very difficult in case of spring framework with spring boot it is made easy so which is the best choice obviously spring boot if you are trying to develop web application rest api stand alone applications using spring framework just by using the maven tool it is very very difficult because the dependency management will be a bigger issue but if you are using spring boot to develop all these applications it is way too easy because you are going to pick and choose the dependencies the inter dependencies will be automatically added by spring framework one important thing is spring boot internally uses the modules of spring framework that is what is the key point that i want to tell another thing is the version of spring boot is 3.2.2 the version of spring framework is 6.1 that's it thank you